I'm going to show you how to um, use text screensavers that you probably know if you're a Linux user to display text and to render it nicely when you use a laser projector to put some text on the wall or something like that. Now, <clears throat> uh, first what you need is is some text. You could of course use text files, but this is probably not that interesting. So I did I decided to use um, a program, the output of a program as input for my text rendering screensaver. Now the screensaver doesn't actually run in screensaver mode. It's it's not actually does not not actually occupy the whole screen. It just runs in its own window. Now the program that I use as source for for text is II. This is a file system based IRC client that's connected to the QuakeNet network. And what this um, client does, it um, just uh, makes every cl uh, every network and every channel appear as directories. And every of those directories has two important files. Uh, one is the out file. This is actually whatever goes uh, into the channel, whatever comes from the channel, goes into this file. And the in file, this is not a, actually not a file. This is an in, in pipe. Whatever goes into this in pipe would uh, appear in the channel. Alright, um, so I could just read the out file and use it as input for my screensaver and this is what I'm gonna do. Um, to make the to make, to make this uh, elaborate uh, animation and elaborate rendering I use the Star Wars screensaver and each of those X screensavers take actually a lot of parameters. This is what you see here is just a small subset of what they actually take. Now the first you see here is the size parameter. This is the font size. This is some sort of internal font size, whatever. It is not um, in font points actually. The next one is spin. Uh, this makes the stars in the background spin actually, which looks pretty nice, but it's not actually close to the movie. In the opening scene of Star Wars, you don't actually see the stars spinning. Alright, the next two are important for rendering purposes. Um, first you got the delay and the steps. Now, um, I don't know exactly how many steps one step is, or whatever one step is. I just know that the more steps you have, the smoother the animation is, and delay is just the delay in milliseconds between each of those steps. So the fewer steps, the, s the faster the animation, but the more like stop motion it's gonna be. So you kind of you so kind of you need some sort of balance between steps and delay to make a smooth uh, animation that is not too fast and not too slow. And um, this is actually the interesting part right here. Uh, the parameter program takes input from another program um, and displays this as text. Now I'm using this help app helper application X screensaver text right here. This, uh, this just pre-renders text from the actual program that we're going to use as input for our screensaver. Now, uh, the simple program I use is just tail, and I just tail the output file that I described earlier for the channel right here. So, um, what I'm going to do is basically display whatever goes into this channel on my um, screensaver screen, or screensaver window. So let's just start the application, or before we do that, we check what the what's inside the channel file actually, because this one can get quite large. So as we can see here, um, there's quite a lot of text. So what we do is we truncate the file like that, and now we start our program and. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And you can see the star spinning in the background. And now just watch when someone types in some text. <coughs> right, I just typed in something and you're gonna uh, see it appear right, right there. And let's just hope that someone else says something as well. Alright. You can see someone left the channel, and there's people talking, as you can see, and this is just what happens in the channel. 
Alright, thanks for watching. Um, I hope I showed you a nice way how to render text on uh, for some occasion like a presentational LAN party or whatever. Thanks for watching.